Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printy here. This video is going to serve as a very basic introduction to aggregation in Django. In future videos that I'll do, I'll go into more detail with aggregation, but for now I just wanna keep it simple. But with a simple case, you'll actually get a lot out of it. So what I have is a model in my app setup. It's called City, and it has two columns. It has a name column and a population column, at least that I'm concerned with. And of course, the name is the name of the city, and the population is the population of that particular city. So looking at the admin dashboard here, for example, if I go to Casablanca, I see the population uh, looks to be about 3,359,000. And if I go back and I look at Cairo, uh, 7 million is the population, and one more, London, uh, a little over 8 million, or actually a little under 9 million. So I have 20 cities in the database here, and I'm going to use the functions that allow me to aggregate the data, meaning to look at all the data at once instead of just getting the data for each individual city. So I'm going to stop the app, so I no longer have access to the admin dashboard, but I'll start up the shell. So python manage.py and then shell. This will allow me to run things directly through the shell. So I'm going to import my model first. So from example, example is the app dot models import city. So I have my city model and if I just do this, we see I have the 20 cities here that I have in the database. So now what I want to do is I want to import some aggregation functions. So those are going to be from Django.db.models. And the ones that I'm concerned with are sum, min, max, and average. There are others, but these four are the ones that I want to cover for now. So these names should be self-explanatory. So sum is going to sum all of the objects in question. Min is going to get the minimum value. Max is going to get the maximum value. And average is going to get the average of all the values. So for example, if I do city.objects, to use one of these aggregation functions, I have to type aggregate. And then inside of here, I specify which function I want to use. So let's say sum. And then I specify the column in my model. So in this particular case, my model is city and the column is population. So population. And now when I run this, I get the sum of all the populations across the 20 cities that I have in the database. So it's about 175 million. And I can use the other functions in the same way. So if I want to get the average population of the 20 cities that I have, instead of using sum, I'll use AVG for average. And the average turns out to be 8,762,106.95. So we see on the left-hand side here, I have the population underscore average, or actually dunder average. If I wanna change that, I can do this. So instead of just putting average in the population, I can put a name for it. So let's say average pop, and I just have average population assigned to that, and now I see average pop here. So if I were to actually assign this to a variable, so if I call this results, then you'll see that results.average pop and I need to use it as a dictionary, it's not a object. So bracket, the quote, and then we see eight million and then the rest. If I want to use multiple, I can do something similar. So city, I'll clear that out, city, objects, aggregate. Let's say I want the sum of the population and I want the min for the population field. And this should be objects, not object, so objects. And now when I run that, I see the sum of the populations is still 175, and the minimum population is a little over 3 million. So I can have multiple functions in there. And of course, if I want to give them names, um, sum pop, and then min, 
pop, then I can get those. And I just use a dictionary to access those values directly. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to use these functions. Uh, what I'll do in the description to this video is I'll link the documentation for aggregation in Django and you can take a look at it. But like I said, I'll create other videos where I go into this in more detail. So before I go, I just want to tell you that I have two free courses that are related to Django. I have Django Database Essentials, which covers how to handle models in Django. There's quite a few videos in here. And I also have an intro to Django course, which covers building a very simple app in Django. So if you want to check those out, just go to my website and I'll have those linked. Or you can just go to prettyprinted.com in your browser. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.